I've been wanting to write something about space so that I have an excuse to wear my flight suit while reciting a poem. And uh, last week, if you were here, you'll, you'll remember that I tried to do a poem about space and it ended up being about depression. Um, this week I, I wrote something about space, I actually just finished it about an hour ago, um, and it's actually kind of about a breakup. Um, I guess I'm just a depressing person. Um, it's sort of inspired by something that was said by um, the tour guide the first time I went to Kennedy Space Center. He was talking about um, when you see a, a shuttle launch live, because you're several kilometers away, because you have to be, because it's not safe otherwise, um, the sound takes a while to reach you. Um, and something he said kind of became the basis of the poem. Um, but I actually recorded the entire um, audio of the entire tour, so I'm going to play what he said and then some other sound effects um, to go with the poem. Uh. Space shuttle lifting off is one of the loudest sounds that humankind has ever created. You don't just hear a shuttle launch with your ears, you hear it with your whole body. First you see it, then you hear it, then you feel it. First you see it, then you hear it, then you feel it. First you see it, the shuttle slipping up into the sky, the subtle disaffection in your eye. The blooming smoke that seems it's painted on. The lustful fire you can't read is gone. Then you hear it. The solid rocket booster firing noise. The falling out of love that's in your voice. A sound so loud it can destroy its very source. The sound suppression system dissipates the force. Unsound depression wisdom yells it back to her. Resounding hate you too, destroying everything you were. Then you feel it. The shock waves that can shake your every cell. The rocking, rocketing heartache you, you'll never dispel. Explosive blast of air across the water from the pad. She knows you're stuck down there, weighed down with everything you had. Feeling all the blame and lovers rush to be set free. Searing in the flame trench and the crush of gravity. You see her thrust toward nothingness as shuttle engines burn. You hear the launch controllers saying negative return. You feel your inner holiness do nothing else but yearn.